Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, today we are going to be doing a very difficult video but I'm going to call it a how-to because I have done this quite a handful of times and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a rook piercing. I can already feel the frustration of brewing. So if you guys have your rook pierced or you really want to get your rook pierced, changing jewelry is probably the most exciting thing about having any sort of piercing. But let me tell you when I say that the rook piercing is one of the most difficult piercings to change, I fucking mean it. <laughs> it is so incredibly difficult. It is a lot harder than it looks. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to change out your rook piercing. And the jewelry that I'm going to be using is this little barbell right here that I got from Ofer Body Jewelry. I did just film a whole entire haul on this. So if you guys want to check it out and you want to see everything that I got, all of the goodies that I got, then I will have that linked up in the corner so you guys can easily click on it and check it out. But for my rook piercing today, I'm going to be changing it to this little guy right here. It is a 16 gauge 1.2 millimeter barbell with these absolutely gorgeous crystal gems at the top of it. And as you can see, it is a nice curved barbell and it just has a standard silver ball on the very bottom. But the top of it is what really caught my eye with this piece of jewelry. I think it is absolutely gorgeous and I think it will make a really nice rook piercing. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. But first, a couple little disclaimers that I wanna get out of the way. If you are noticing these two cartilage piercings right here, I am currently in the process of stretching them back up to a 16 gauge. They were at a 20 gauge. Don't ask why, they just were. So I'm slowly but surely starting to get them back up to a 16. I did just put in some 18 gauge barbells. They are very irritated, they are very angry at me. As you can see, they are quite red and a little bit swollen. Don't worry, they're not infected. I have my little piercing aftercare spray that I use these quite a bit on them. So if you are noticing that they are a little bit on the red side, that is why. And also, I have quite a few blackheads on the inside of my ear right here because I am an avid ear scratcher, so... That's a thing. I know it's really gross, but I'm sorry, I'm human. Okay, give me a fucking break. So a few of the little supplies that I have right here is I have a box of just small nitrile disposable gloves. I also have my piercing aftercare spray like I already showed you guys. I also have a pair of hemostats right here, which I actually use these for dog grooming, but these actually really come in handy when you need to get a good grip on piercing balls. Don't worry, I already sanitized them. And then I also also have this really handy dandy ball grabber right here which is going to come in handy when we screw the bottom ball of this piercing on. Now this is a YouTube video. This video is going to be edited. Just because the, if this video turns out to be you know only 10 minutes long doesn't mean it took me that long to change it all right. It's probably going to take me a good 45 minutes because let's be honest rook piercings are a bitch. I try not to change them too often because they can be very finicky. They can be very difficult. I already have very small ears and going all up in here in this really small area with all this little, you know, intricate jewelry, it's a pain in the fucking ass. So don't be discouraged if you're doing this with me while you're watching this video. Don't get discouraged if it takes you a long time. Girl, same. Same. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video and try to change my rook piercing. Lord help us all. I, I, let's do this shit. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop some gloves on. Now, even though my hands are clean, my piercing is healed, you know, all that good stuff, I just feel like gloves, you you get like a better grip on your, on your jewelry when you use gloves, so that is the main reason for that. So I'm just gonna pop these on. That way I can grip the jewelry and my finger oils won't get in the way of anything. So I mean, I'm just gonna pop those on right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the ball off of the new piece of jewelry right here with my hemostats. Just kind of twist a little bit. That way it's already apart for when we change it. And the next thing that we're gonna do is remove the old one. So this one I got from Lulu's Body Jewelry. I don't hate this one, but I wanted something a little bit more kind of out there. So I'm going to switch out this barbell for the really cool one that I showed you guys. So I am gonna move you guys in a little bit closer. I know we're already up close and personal, but we're gonna get a little bit closer so you can actually see what I'm doing because nine, what Jack? 
My dog wants attention. This is the worst possible time to ask for attention, dog. Worst possible time. But where are your toys? Why don't you go get me a toy? I'll throw you a toy. Yes, go get one. Because I'm not one of those YouTubers that's gonna show you how to do something from 10 feet away. So we're gonna get close, we're gonna get up close and personal. You can probably see my eardrum, but that's okay. Let's fucking do this thing. Oh my God, this is really close up. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push my forward helix piercings as up front as possible. And then I'm going to hold the bottom of my rook piercing right here, I'm gonna slide it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take my hemostats Alright, so I got the top ball off. Now you don't necessarily need to get a pair of hemostats, but I do very, very much highly recommend them. They're like a smaller pair of like needle nose pliers and they just help you get a really good grip on stuff. So I did loosen the ball, absolutely perfect, easy peasy. Now I'm just gonna go in and grab the jewelry and slide her out just like that. So here is what the barbell looks like out of the piercing. I'm going to take my piercing aftercare spray, the Neil Med. This stuff is really convenient, really easy to use. And I'm just going to give a couple little spritz right there. And then I'm going to take the new jewelry on the hemostats and slide it in like that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Pretty much everything from this point is super easy to do. Super fast, as you guys saw, I got the old jewelry out, new jewelry in really easily. Now the most difficult part is putting the ball on a rook piercing. If you have someone who knows what they're doing and they're very skilled with this kind of thing, it's fucking sweet. But if you're doing this on your own, oh dear lord, may God have mercy on your soul because this is the most frustrating thing on planet Earth. I'm gonna take these off now because we will not be using my hands anymore. And I'm going to use this little ball grabber. I got this from Lulu's Body Jewelry and I have, I have such a love-hate relationship with this little tool right here because even though I feel like it comes in handy, I feel like it doesn't really work that well. Like I've heard a lot of hype about this. I heard that this was really gonna help. But to be perfectly honest with you, unless you have a ball that is pretty decent size, like this size right here where you can very easily see it and grab it, if you have anything smaller than this, it is a pain in the ass. So the one that goes on the bottom of this rook piercing is relatively big, so I don't think we should have any problems with this, but what I do is I take it on the palm of my hand right here, the opening facing down on the palm of my hand, and then take the little ball holder right here and I'm going to grab it like that. There we go, just like this. And I know you can also get these little ball holders on Amazon as well. And then I'm basically just going to kind of push the rook piercing in and out like this, and I'm going to line it up. like that. But once you have it twisted on there, you really wanna make sure it's on there tight. So I'm just gonna go in with another glove. If you don't turn this the right way, it's gonna fall out and you're gonna have to redo everything that you just did. So I'm trying to like think in my head, righty tighty lefty loosey. So if I'm looking at my ear this way, it's probably gonna have to go this way. And basically all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the bottom ball right here and I'm just twisting as hard as I can because you want to make sure that is on there tight and make sure that you hold the top of the rook piercing steady. That way you can get a good grab on the ball and tighten it and you're not twisting the jewelry in your ear because that's going to give you a false pretense that you tightened the ball when in reality you were just twisting the jewelry. So make sure you have the top of it nice and steady. You can either use your finger for this, hemostats, whatever you gotta do. Once you look at it really up close and you don't see any more of the threading, because this one is externally threaded, as soon as you do not see any more threading and you can't twist it anymore, 
then that means it is on. Oh my! <laughs> this is so freaking pretty. And okay, I'm looking at my monitor right now. I have only been filming for 15 minutes. 15 minutes! And we changed my rook piercing in 15 minutes. <sighs> Emoji. Love the length of it. I got a really good length because as you guys saw with the last one, I'll hold it up again. As you can see with the last one, it was quite long and a, quite a bit of it hung down in my ear and it was just really fucking irritating. So I absolutely love the gems and the flowers. Oh my god! Seriously, so freaking gorgeous. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know I made it look a lot easier than it is and I'm sorry for that, but today was just a really good day. So that's, it's, it's a good day. Regardless, I hope that this video was helpful. I hope that this video gave you a few tips and hopefully this video made your rook changing experience go a lot smoother. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go down and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, if you are new to my channel and this is the first video of mine that you are seeing, I just want to welcome you to the family. We do a ton of different videos around here. We do piercing videos, tattoo videos, vlogs, makeup videos, chit chat videos, anything you can think of, we do here. Here. So I would love to have you join the family. Make sure you go down and hit the red subscribe button. I do upload every three to four days on this channel. I love you guys so, so much. But until then, I will see you. Jackal, do you want to do you want to do the outro with mommy? Till then, we love you guys so, so much. And we will see you very soon in my next video. Good boy. Bye.